Have you been considering buying a new telescope and wondering if maybe you should consider a used telescope instead? The short answer is yes, you should consider it. But in this video, I'll explain why I think you should consider a used telescope. And I'll tell you what you should look out for when purchasing a used telescope. Hello and welcome to the program Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. This is part two of my series, Advice on Buying a Telescope. In part one, I went over the types of telescopes to consider, the strengths and weaknesses of each type of telescope, and the things you need to think about when deciding which kind of telescope you want to purchase. And here's the link to part one and also below. If you're thinking about buying a telescope, but you're not sure what kind of telescope, go watch part one first. If you've already decided what you want, but a new telescope doesn't quite fit into your budget, then let's see if a used telescope is the way to go for you. If you're a beginner or this is your first telescope, then I would recommend an 8 inch or even a 10 inch Dobsonian. If you have room for a telescope that big, and you can lift it and move it around. Or if a 10 inch or even an eight inch Dobsonian doesn't fit into your budget, then a six inch Dobsonian would be a good choice as well. Let's say you really want a Dobsonian telescope, but you've only budgeted $500. Well, a quick review of the major brands of 10 inch Dobsonians and even the eight inch Dobsonians are out of reach for you. The Skywatcher 8 inch collapsible is $599. The Apertura, the Skywatcher, and the Orion Solid Tube 8 inch Dobsonians are all about $650, and the Celestron is $799. Well, then I would say that buying a used 8 inch Dobsonian would be a great choice for you. Otherwise, you could just get a brand new 6 inch Dobsonian to fit into your budget. A brand new Orion 6 inch Dobsonian is $499 US dollars. But let's see if you can get a little bit more aperture. If you check Craigslist for your local area, you'll most certainly find two or three Dobsonians for sale at any given time. And one of those is bound to be an 8 inch Dobsonian. You can also check on eBay and also occasionally B&H photo video will sell used telescopes and they might have a lightly used Dobsonian for sale, and you can check Astromart, but they charge a small fee for you to set up an account. They currently have a few Dobsonians for sale, though, for local pickup. First, let's check out Craigslist, because then we can avoid shipping costs if we can pick up the telescope locally. Also, we'll get a chance to inspect the telescope personally before purchasing it. So let's head over to the computer and check out those websites and see if there are any decent used telescopes for sale. Okay, first let's check out Craigslist so we can see if there's any telescope that we can go look at and inspect personally. So there's a 10 inch Dobsonian for sale on eBay, but she's in San Jose, which is not too far. So I can go meet her, she said, and I can inspect it. And there's another 10 inch Dobsonian for sale in Oakland, which is not too far away. And I can inspect that one also. One of them is 400 and the other one's $500. So they're within our budget, but we need to check them out because the lady that has the 10 inch in San Jose said she didn't know anything about telescopes and she had been dusting the mirror, which is troublesome. So we need to look at that telescope. And the telescope in 
Oakland it had a metal piece on the top of it that I need to take a look at. He dropped something very heavy on it, which is very disturbing also. <laughs> so we need to inspect that one as well. On my way to Mountain View, California, to meet some lady who's selling her husband's 10-inch Orion Dobsonian. I don't think I'm gonna buy it, but I told her I'd beat her anyway. She keeps taking the mirror out to dust it. I'm sure it's scratched all the hell and back and severely out of collimation, but it's worth a try because brand new, they're on back order. So we'll see what she has. Okay, so the telescope in San Jose, the woman said to look for her in a white Camaro, and I was thinking, how is she going to get a 10 inch Dobsonian in a Camaro? And she showed up with it sticking out of the car, which was somewhat worrisome, but she took it out of the Camaro and I had brought an eyepiece with me because I knew she didn't have one and it was severely out of collimation. So if you're gonna buy a used Dobsonian, you should learn how to collimate and bring a collimation cap with you and an eyepiece because you're probably gonna have to collimate it because you're gonna want to point it to a distant object and see if you can bring it to focus and inspect the primary and the secondary mirror for any obvious scratches or cracks. Her telescope was severely out of collimation. I was able to collimate it, but then when I put the eyepiece in, I realized her focuser was broken. So obviously you want to check for any broken parts. And I said, well, this focuser is broken. And she quickly looked on her phone and said, oh, you can get one for $50. I'll take $50 off. And I said, no, because you can't just buy any old focuser. It has to be a focuser that fits a Dobsonian. And those are $150. So I didn't get her telescope. I don't think she scratched it by dusting it, but that's a very bad idea. Don't ever dust your <laughs> telescope's mirror. The other guy in Oakland, his telescope was in good shape, also severely out of collimation. I collimated it for him and I was able to bring it to focus. He had a lot of eyepieces he was selling with it too, but it just really bothered me that it had that piece of metal he had <laughs> screwed to the top of the telescope where he had bashed it with a heavy object. I, it just bothered me and I, I couldn't bring myself to, <laughs> to live with a telescope with the bash on it like that, so I said no. But the point of all this is, if you're gonna buy a used Dobsonian telescope, learn how to collimate before you go look at one and here's my video on collimating a Dobsonian, and take an extra eyepiece with you, inspect the primary and the secondary mirror and the focuser, look for any obvious scratches or cracks, and make sure the focuser works, and if you can bring it to focus and there aren't any obvious cracks or scratches, then I would say it's a good choice and that you should go ahead and make the purchase if it's in your budget. You can make an offer, but both of those people were not willing to negotiate at all. So you can always try. There's no harm in trying, but those are the things to look out for. Is the mirror in good shape? And can you bring it to focus and does the focuser work? <laughs> if all of that sounds good and also the base, make sure the base moves okay and that they have the tension knobs and that it stays put where you point it. And if all of that checks out, then buying a used telescope is a great choice and can save you a lot of money that maybe you can get some other things with. <laughs> so that's it for now. I hope you found this useful. Yes, you should look into buying a used telescope. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula signing off.